Hey, Jared, this is Rob. Just wanted to go over some of the macros and some things with you um, before I head out. So when you bring in the, uh, the planning center service that's done here, by the way, hitting this pl uh, plus button right here and planning center service. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to use last Sundays as an example. When you bring that in, it should come up like this. So the first one will just go down the line, pre-service background slide. That's obviously going to have this background slide here, the green. It's pretty much labeled as such pre-service slides. Naturally, those will have pre-service slides. Um, the last couple of weeks, um, actually, yeah, I think so. The last couple of weeks, they have not been converting uh, slide element to action or something like that, media action, or I can't remember what they call it. But So you have to check that. If it's not showing up on the side screens and only in the center, that's because they didn't do that last part. Um, videos, again, all videos, regardless of the video, it should only be on the side screens, not on the middle um, front projectors. So as you can see, this video is on the front projectors, but it is not on the 66 panel. Um, okay, uh, so any video, um, that's welcome and offering video. Um, and I made that as well. So um, let's see, so songs, um, I, I just make sure that these all say 2023 Ableton when you import them, because sometimes they don't. Um, also, to make, need to make sure, since we're using the iPad, that um, I might as well do this now. Um, and I'm remoting into this computer. I'm going to uh, disconnect this and connect Rob's iPad. So, um, And then, obviously, on the soundboard, you'll need to do you know that one scene for the iPad. I think it says Rob gone or something like that. Um, welcome offering video, the, again, the macro. Um, we have one right here. Welcome and offering video here, this macro. S slide it in, but you really shouldn't have to. Like this, we'll just, I'm gonna right click on this and I'm just gonna remove the video, the announcement video. And so when they send it over on email, which I think they might have already, um, I think they do have it. Yeah, Melissa, right there, June 4th. You'll save that video in, I think that place I mentioned in documents, um, just to just to have um, right here, welcome and offering video, 2023. And that's where you'll save that video. And then I, I like to um, add the media and as such, go import media. You don't have to do it this way. This is just how I choose to do it. And then it'll ask you where you want to say it. Say import. It'll ask where you want to save that. I save that. Um, this is media. So yeah, welcome and offering video. There it is. It was already on that. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that because it's already there. Except for June 4th, I don't think it is there. So you'll just, once you do that portion, go to media. Once you've in, imported it, go to down here, welcome and offering, and then you'll just slide that in. Now, when you bring that video in, by the way, there's a quick thing you can do here. It's right click down here and see where it says loop behavior. I always hit stop. The default is loop, which we want to keep the default as loop for the, um, the worship uh, backgrounds. We want those worship backgrounds to loop. Um, so, but if you have an idea of how you want to change it, totally cool. Sermon bumper should be the same for a while. Um, that's where you'll just have to double check planning center and uh, make sure that the, um, the actual sermon series is the same. So it looks like um, by the time I get back, um, it'll change. So you guys, you, you won't have to worry about changing the sermon bumper the whole time I'm gone. 
unless something happens and I'm gone July 9th, which I shouldn't be. I should be there. Um, that's going to be a new uh, sermon bumper. So if you could follow up with them, make sure. I think they already finished it. I'm, I'm not positive on that, but I, I know that Melissa has been really good about being ahead of things along with Nina. So um, if you want to load July 9th for me before I get back, that'd be cool because it'd be nice to come back to have it all done. But if not, no problem. Um, okay, and then background for message. Again, kind of self-explanatory over here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. For the macro, well, let's see, where is it? Background for... Which one am I using? We should name it all the same so it's like easy. Um, maybe I'll do that. So it's pretty much the same as a pre-service background if I remember right. Well, let's just see. Background for message. Let's see which one I'm using. I'm just going to right click on this, edit actions, and it'll show me which one's on there. Okay. Background slide. So it's using the same one. So you know what? I'm going to rename this. Rename background slide. Um, let's call this pre-service and message background slide. Okay, so it's using the same one as the um, pre-service. Okay, then on here, this one's the same as, uh, I think it just says message right here. So you just grab that, put that right into there for the for the sermon. And then closing, I think there is a closing one. Yeah, closing slide, macro. That's it. Um, I don't know why this shows up like this. I, I just, if it does that, I just delete it. Um, that was Brent's message showing up twice after the closing. After closing, that's it, there's nothing. So hopefully that makes sense. The only thing that you may need to do, which would be good for the team, is just to print out the planning center um, service. So I, I print like seven or eight each time. So June 4th, go into that. And this will actually print to um, from here, from the iMac in the auditorium. It'll print to the printer in the office. I hit all times. Um, make sure vocal, production, band, pastor is all on there for the teams that show up. So I'll submit. And I'm going to go ahead and print this for you right now. Oh, not save as PDF. We'll do Grace Office Printer. So most likely the girls in the office will see this and they'll either put it in my inbox or they'll put it on top of the printer. That's typically what happens and print. Okay, so that's already printed for you. And if you could just remember to print, you know, each following service just so that everybody has it, they can make notes, um, whatever notes needed. So that's it, man. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be leaving here Friday. And yeah, I think that's all. Take care, bud.